If you're using WooCommerce to run your online business, then you're most likely to have products in your store that have several variations in terms of different attributes. Those variations are displayed in typical drop-down options in the WooCommerce plugin by default. If you're tired of this tedious drop-down option and want to use something more user-friendly like variation swatches, you should take a look at the Swatchly plugin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace those typical drop-down options with beautiful variation swatches. First of all, we need to install the Swatchly plugin. To do so, navigate to the plugins menu and click on Add New. Then upload and install the plugin file. Once the plugin is installed, activate the plugin. Afterward, you'll notice that the default drop-downs for all your product attributes are automatically converted into label type swatches. If you want to disable this auto conversion, first go to the settings page of the Swatchly plugin. Then simply uncheck this option called Auto Convert Dropdowns to Label and save the changes. To see the change, let's reload the page and we'll see that the automatic conversion is not working anymore. Now let me show you how you can turn these typical drop-down options into different types of swatches. First of all, we'll replace the drop-down options for the color attribute with the color type swatch. To do this, firstly click on attributes located under the products menu. As you can see, for all our attributes such as color, material and size, the default option here is set to select. Let's change the drop-down options for the color attribute first. Click on Edit and select Color as the swatch type. Make sure to save the changes. Once the changes are saved, click on the Back to Attributes link. Now we'll change the drop-down options for the Material attribute. Here we'll replace the option for each variation with a swatch of an image type. Similarly, we'll convert the drop-down options for the Size attribute into Label type swatches. Now, if we reload the product details page, we'll see that the default drop-down options for all the product attributes are converted into different types of swatches. But if you look closely, you'll see that there are no colors available for the color swatches. In the same way, no images are available for the material swatches. This is because we've only set the type of swatches for different product attributes. Now, we're gonna set the colors one by one for each variation swatches of the color attributes. Then for every variation of the material attribute, we'll need to add images to display them as image swatches. To do so, first go to Attributes from the Products menu and click on Configure Terms for the color attribute. As you can see, some variations are already added over here for the color attribute. All you gotta do is set the swatch color for each color variation. As an example, for the black color, we'll set the swatch color to black and update the settings. Likewise, we'll set the swatch colors for the remaining variations. Now that we have set the swatch colors for all the variations available for the color attribute, let's go back to the product details page and reload again to see the changes. As we can see, all the color swatches are working now. Right now, we'll add the swatch images for all the variations of the material attribute. To do so, navigate to the attributes again and click on configure terms for the material attribute. Let's edit a variation from here. Now, upload a swatch image for this variation and update the settings. In the same way, you can set the swatch images for the rest of the variations. Now, let's go ahead and check the page to see whether everything is working properly. 
Once we reload the page, we'll see all the image swatches are functioning as expected. So this is how you can configure the Swatchly plugin to transform the bland looking drop down options into more convenient swatches. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding this video, please let us know in the comments below or you can contact us directly from our website hasthemes.com. Thank you.